So uh, we're going to look at the seven judgments of God, past, present, and future. Uh, there's no escaping the fact that all mankind will be judged, and that will include Christians and non-Christians. Some claim there will be a general judgment for all mankind, especially those uh, that uh, use the amillennial uh, interpretation of the Bible, using the allegory and, uh, and spiritualizing the Bible. With that, you can make the Bible say anything you want. And that's the reason false teachers use that method of interpretation. Um, anyway, some claim that there will be a general judgment for all mankind. And this idea occurs frequently in religious literature, but does not appear in the Bible. Uh, looking at the Bible and the following seven judgments of God, we can learn about a lot about when these judgments take place, where they take place, who is involved. Uh, are these separate judgment or are they one? It, is there, there are separate judgment, of course, uh, not as uh, uh, a lot of people teach. Is there a general judgment of all? Uh, no. Or, or a separate judgment for the lost and the saved? There are seven judgments of God that we need to look at closely. And by examining these seven judgments, we will find the answers to many questions. You'll find that... Uh, uh, these judgments are for different persons at different times and different places, and therefore there's not just one judgment. Uh, as a background for the study of the seven judgment, we can start with the Eden judgments of Genesis 3. As a result of the fall of Adam and Eve, God placed curses or judgments upon Adam and Eve, as well as Satan and the earth. And you find that in Genesis chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. Because of these things, Scripture states that after we die, then comes the judgment. And that's in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. All mankind has been judged as being under sin, according to Galatians chapter 3, verse 22. So if all mankind are judged as being under sin, how does one get to heaven where God does not allow any sin? Uh, this brings us to the first judgment. And as you look at these judgments, it's important that you note the time, place, subjects, and the result of each judgment is different. So there's not just one general judgment. Okay, thank you for listening, and uh, we'll continue.